Good evening. Meta has just declared war, not on TikTok, not on Twitter, but on the power grid itself. Mark Zuckerberg is done playing games with avatars. Mark just unveiled Meta Compute, which looks like a new command center. The goal? Build more AI infrastructure than any entity in human history. And you know what? We are talking about gigawatts, not chips. Tens of gigawatts this decade, hundreds later, which translates to the electricity consumption of maybe a small European nation, which is dedicated solely to one company's brain. This is the narrative shift, which makes Meta no longer a social media company, but an energy company that happens to sell ads. Mark Zuckerberg has just hired exemplary talent, which tells us a lot and more. On the one side, we have Santosh Janardhan, the builder, the guy running the silicon, can also be actually referred to as the hardware king. Then on the other side is Daniel Gross, the strategist, co-founder of Safe Superintelligence, the visionary. But here is where things get very exciting. Enter Dina Powell McCormick, former advisor to Donald Trump. Yes, she is there for sovereign partnerships. The translation to that, Meta is cutting deals with governments. They are building compute for nation states, financing nuclear reactors, which makes it the ping pong game of power because tech needs energy and the government, yes, controls energy. Meta is trying to become the middleman, the broker, and the numbers are mind boggling. $72 billion in capital spending for 2025 alone. They signed 20-year nuclear deals with Vistra and Constellation. And of course, are backing next-gen reactors with TerraPower and Oklo. Meta wants a Prometheus supercluster consuming 6.6 .6 gigawatts by 2035. But Zuckerberg says that that's still not enough. Actually, he wants maybe 10 times that amount, maybe even 50 times. Why? Because Lama 4 was weak. The reception was lukewarm. Meta lost the vibes war to open AI. So they are in no mood to let that happen again. And what they are actually betting on is that in the future. The best model doesn't win. The biggest battery wins. Which has made this into not model versus model, but megawatt versus megawatt. Infrastructure, Zuckerberg says, is our strategic advantage. End quote. It's a thumping attack on intelligence. But as all wars, there is unfortunately a casualty in this one as well. As Zuckerberg buys nuclear plants, the soul of Meta's AI is unfortunately walking out the door. Jan Lekun, yes, the godfather of AI, he is leaving. He's raising 500 million euros for a new startup, the valuation for which 3.5 billion euros before launch, of course. And in conclusion, the front page take. Meta reorganized, they built a super intelligence lab under Alexander Wang because they want products, chatbots and speed, while uh, Likun refused because he doesn't believe in the LLM hype. He wants advanced machine intelligence, world models, reasoning, the real science fiction kind of stuff. Which means Meta chose the nuclear reactors while Likun chose science. So one is betting on scale and the other is betting on the brains. Which brings us to the question for you. Who wins the future? The company with the most electricity or the scientists with the better idea? Let us know in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe and yes, you know what to do. Think AI, think AIM.